what should we think um, is an approach that in some situations can be, um, is medically indicated, you know. Um, hematological malignancies or blood-related cancers are really a very vast spectrum of disorders. Some uh, malignancies are very aggressive and they require immediate medical attention. On the other hand of the spectrum, there are a couple of um, blood-related cancers that they have a very indolent clinical course that in those situations, the cancer cells cannot cohabit in a friendly way with patients. And therefore, sometimes the risk of the immediate treatment do not out, you know, outweigh you know, the benefit. You know. um, examples of those kind of conditions are usually chronic lymphocytic leukemia, follicular lymphoma, and again, some other rare forms of what we call low-grade lymphomas. You know. It's about balancing the risk and the benefit of the treatment. You know. Uh, sometimes uh, therapeutic intervention carries side effects, you know, that sometimes the side effects do not outweigh, you know, the benefit, you know. Sometimes uh, blood disorders which are very indolent, like chronic lymphocytic leukemia, they are disorders in which patients can live with these conditions for many years, you know. Sometimes as long as the cancer cells are not affecting the quality and the function of the immune system of the patient or the bone marrow function of the patient, and early intervention really only leads to toxicities, you know. Another way to see it, and sometimes I discuss this with patients, you know, the human body has a very, um, very um, powerful capacity to adapt. One of the reasons that humans, we are at the top of the pyramid in the animal kingdom, so to say, is because we have an incredible capacity to adapt to a hostile environment, you know. And I tell patients, sometimes cancer cells are like that, you know. When you have a cancer cell that is cohabitating inside you in a friendly way and is not producing any problems, if you start a therapeutic intervention, you're gonna change the environment in which that cell is living and that cell can potentially adapt to the new environment in which a new medication is inside. And that can lead to a worse outcome sometimes. So in reality, as I said before, you know, um, <clears throat> therapeutic intervention for indolent blood disorders is only warranted, you know, when the patient actually needs it. And sometimes it's very important to discuss this to patients so they can understand the disorder that they have, they can understand how these cancer cells live inside them, so they can understand why physicians tell them not to do anything.